What's going on guys? It's Destin the RV Guide here and I am sitting in a 2024 Salem 27 RKX. So old floor plan from them but they've been doing it a while so they've kind of got it figured out. So I figured let's go through this thing. I'm going to start off in the inside today, change it up a little bit and we'll work our way outside and go from there. Like I said, not a original floor plan by any means, but they've been producing this at least as long as I've been in the industry, and I think they've they've gotten it nailed down. So let's start off at the back. So rear kitchen sort of set up. I'm in a 27-foot box, probably 34 foot in total, somewhere around there. Really designed for a couple of people, but the extra living space really makes itself known a in the kitchen area with the wraparound countertop here as well as the living space for the coach you're surrounded by windows plenty of natural light in this thing let's get going so at the back we're going to have our full fury and appliance package so we have our three burner cooktop our stove underneath there and then a microwave right above that Plenty of storage in the kitchen for your cups and bowls and such. It goes all the way towards the back. All that's all opened up. And the same on the overhead right over here too. Underneath in the kitchen area, it's not too bad. So they give you your dedicated spot right there. And then some really nice built-ins for some drawers here. Ferian fridge equipped in this one. So 13 cubic foot, plenty of space. The freezer is the same way here and that gets us into a pantry in the back which storage is key as we all know so full pantry here it does kind of sneak away in the back a little bit too so lots and lots of kitchen space but that's the that's the claim to fame in this model I mean rear kitchens this is what they give you residential faucet two bay sink and then your nice little dish drying rack right there and I mean, don't mind the motorhome parking next to us, but lots of natural light in this thing. Windows surrounded by it. That gets us into the, the living room area. I've always kind of liked this for the rear kitchens. Standard, they'll give you a couple of recliners here to hang out in. But depending on what your use case is, these are super easy to take out. So if you wanted to throw like a little desk in the corner there next to the sink or something for a workspace, you definitely could. And that'll bring us to the entertainment center here. So up to, a, I think, a 55-inch TV. Fury and sound bar right underneath there with an electric fireplace. Uh, it does push heat so you can stay warm. I wouldn't expect to heat the whole thing with that, but it will make a difference. And that's into, gets us into the L couch in the back here. So it's set up as an L couch right now. But the back piece of that dinette will flip right around if you want a, a true dinette here in lieu. So kind of a multi-purpose sort of setup. Underneath the dinette as well as the couch is going to be your deep storage or extra storage. They give you the bins. Let's get on into the front part here. So you do have a thermostat for a Coleman Mach air conditioner. The claim to fame on the, the Coleman series is just they're, they're quiet. They're quiet. You can't really hear them. And that's, you don't think about it until you're underneath an air conditioner in a camper. Uh, bathrooms, a little small. I ain't gonna lie. They did this um, different shaped kind of door. I think it looks kind of cool. I don't think it serves a whole lot of purpose. It is a um, sliding door here good use of the space uh shower stall decent size they do have the skylight up above a uh, plastic commode and then over on the other side you're going to have your vanity a little bit of storage underneath there and a medicine cabinet that actually opens up all your controls are going to be right towards the front where you're going to have your charge controller there is 200 watts of solar up on the roof of this thing dimmer switch for all your lights your slide controls and your tank monitoring panel now for the master. So custom king size bed, 66 by 78 with plenty of storage wrapped around. They do give you a little laundry chute, which goes into the pass through there. And again, storage, storage throughout. There is, I don't know if I can see it with the bed up the way it is, but access from the corner here. So you got USB chargers, 110 volt power, 
and all that good stuff. There is bracing for a second air conditioner in the bedroom. It will be a main dump air conditioner, so it'll cool you down while you're sleeping, but it will not filter into the rest of the camper. And last but not least, as with all Salem's, washer dryer prep is standard in all the true Salem's now. So they give you a nice little spot here. You can probably fit a stackable in there without much an issue. They do give you the Versa tilt on the bed, which is pretty cool too. So well, watching TV or something like that, you can get your neck up so you're not laying right down. And that's about the inside of it. Let's head on out. So flip up steps as we walk right outside here. Again, probably like 27 foot box and then you add your tongue and bumper, I think like 33 or so feet. Uh, power awning on this one spans pretty much the length of the coach, LED light right underneath there. And well, there's your windows. So LED or outside speakers here. You do get a nice little outdoor kitchen. So you got a little mini fridge, little griddle. Uh, make sure you cool down your griddle before pulling it in or else you're gonna melt your fridge. Tankless hot water heater equipped on the coach so you won't run out of water. Uh, Lippert ladder prep on this particular one with backup camera prep so you will have to go aftermarket to get them but the prep is there and available. Spare tire comes standard. Underneath here, they have the quick drop stabilizers so they went away from the electric ones just because, uh, well, the more electric you have, the more things are going to fail on you. But the quick drop ones, they drop super fast. You get a, a cordless drill or something like that, and it'll be about instant. Uh, towards the front's going to be our storage outside and our dry erase board for our pass-through door. That's kind of cool. But decent amount of storage underneath. It does go all the way through. The door on the other side is significantly smaller. But there's the, the lift mechanism for the bed right there and then that uh, laundry chute there. Power tongue jack, two 20 pound LP tanks and a rock guard towards the front. You do get a battery disconnect so you can kill all the parasitic loss to your battery for the most part. The baggage doors are all gonna have magnetic catches on them so you're not breaking off your clips. And last, but certainly not least, is our sewer dumps here which are all right in the center of the coach. Pretty easy to actually put together which I kinda like. And of course, you're gonna have a fully enclosed underbelly. And I think that's about the tour of the Salem here. Gosh, if I forgot anything, let me know. I'm happy to clear anything up in the comments and make sure to follow along for more walkthrough videos. Thanks for watching.